the hospital here have been wonderful. I was seen very quickly from finding the, the lump in my breast. I was at the doctor's two days after finding it. I was at the clinic here the day after. And the week after I knew I had breast cancer and a week after that I started chemotherapy. I've got a um, small tumour on the rectum. This is going to be a very difficult operation, even though he's quite slim. But he's elderly, we have to be very careful. He won't tolerate any, any major uh, you know, problem arising. And uh, it's a very, very low tumour. I thought this man is a dynamic character, you know. He gets things done. We're always nervous that somehow we won't get the whole tumour out as nice as we would like to because we're always striving to do the perfect operation. But, you know, we'll do the best we can. But I think I, I, I'm confident that we can do it as well as it can be done anywhere in the world. Breathe in, breathe out, stop breathing. Ovarian cancer primary, and I've got sort of three tumours in the stomach, but the treatment's been fantastic. I couldn't have wished for anything better. They, they look after me really well, and any trouble, they treat it straight away, so it's fantastic. Breathe normally. OK, relax now. We'll just check through those. We'll be with you in a few minutes. Fear of not seeing my little girls grow up. That was the first issue I went through and then the fear of not being able to do what I want to do with my life for the next six, eight months until the treatment is over. Which one is it that makes your nose feel funny? It's a sarcophosmide. That's the other one, yeah. Makes your nose tickle. Yeah, that's right. It looks yeah. like your sinuses are blocked. Oh, right. No, it just made, me, made my nose tickle. Made my eye, would that be the one that makes my eyes run? That's right, yeah. 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 Makes your eyes run. Tomorrow I'll be tired all day. I want to go to bed all day tomorrow, but Saturday I won't be able to get out of bed. And I have like travel, it feels like travel sickness. Because you've got cancer, it's not, that's not your life over. You can, you can fight it. And with all the equipment and medical treatment, there's no problem. So it has, yes, given me a second lease in life. Even though I'm past my cell by date.